It's Climate Week here at the Weather Channel, and we've been talking a lot about reports suggesting a warming trend in the Earth's atmosphere, affecting temperatures on land and underwater. As meteorologist Chris Warren explains, if this trend continues, we could be seeing fewer coral reefs. The Caribbean, Southeast Asia, the Great Barrier Reef, the Western Pacific, these are all places where you can find some of the most diverse and complex ecosystems on Earth, coral reefs. And right now, they are in danger. We're facing rising sea temperatures and uh, steadily acidifying ocean waters. And that presents uh, real problems when corals try to grow or survive uh, essentially underwater heat waves. Over the past 30 years, scientists have observed up to 50% of these corals disappearing from the reefs. That's why scientists are putting together a catalog of high definition underwater images. This will give them a better understanding of the condition of seabeds around the world. This is all about trying to get better information so that we can actually then target the management solutions. Now one of those, of course, climate change is an important issue because if we continue on the current pathway, we won't have coral reefs like the Great Barrier Reef by the middle to late part of the century. The information divers bring back are not just for scientists, it's for everyone. A global reef record has now been launched, where anyone from policymakers to the general public can see what's happening in our oceans and learn how to protect them. Protecting the oceans is not just about that day at the beach, it's about the oxygen we breathe. Uh, the, the ocean absorbs enormous amounts of heat and, and regulates our climate. Experts do say there is still time to save the shrinking coral reefs. We're at a crossroad. We can make some changes right now and avoid the loss of a major ecosystem or stand by and just see this wonderful thing called coral reefs disappear from our planet.